So we're going to start in a seated position. <laughs> Hi, Becky. So maybe sitting cross-legged, maybe you're sitting on a blanket or a cushion for support. To be able to sit more upright comfortably. And feeling here for your, the crown of your head to lengthen up nice and high. Feeling for your chest to broaden. Maybe your legs are relaxing down. And then closing your eyes or finding a lazy gaze on a focal point. And coming inward. Exploring here how you feel. Maybe scanning your body. Noticing any sensations that will help guide your practice. It will help guide you into a nurtured, loving way of moving through these postures in our lives. And feeling for your breath, noticing um, without effort to the breath, just feeling the body breathing itself, the journey that it takes moving through you. Noticing what pieces are involved in breathing. And maybe placing your real or imaginary hands onto your belly. And as you breathe in through your nose, feel your belly. Try to fill a bit with breath. And exhale, let that empty out. And then moving your hands upward, placing your real or imaginary hands onto your rib cage area. And trying to breathe. Uh, into your hands here and exhale, let it empty. And then moving your hands up to your chest area and see if you can fill your breath into this region of your body. And exhale, let it empty. And then taking your hands uh, to your low back area and as you breathe in through your nose, see if you can fill into this back body. And exhale, letting that go. And then just letting your arms rest in your lap. And see if you could feel on your inhale this climb of breath from belly into rib cage and into chest. And exhale out of the chest out of the rib cage and out of the belly. Next breath in, see if you could feel this breath climb up through your back body on your inhale. And exhale, empty that out. And now taking a strap or band like object and placing it around your low ribs area. And if you don't have such an object, a long sleeve shirt would do the same thing, or you can just hug your hands around your rib cage. But ideally, we have something that uh, hugs around th all, all uh, 360 degrees of us. <laughs> and so we're going to cross this strap in front of us and then hold on to the ends so that it just hugs around your, your torso. And then just start to breathe here and notice if this 
um, strap hugging you provides you any additional insights into how your breath feels. And now breathing in through your nose, see if you could fill into the back part of your body and notice the journey that might take and empty that out. And then one more time, trying to breathe into the back of your body and exhale to empty. And we're gonna keep the same sort of hug of this band and take ourselves down onto our belly. And so once you're down on the floor on your belly, just allowing this to cinch a little bit before you place your chest down to the floor so that it's again hugging your body. And then bringing your arms in any comfortable space. Maybe you stack your hands to let your forehead rest on. Maybe your arms open out and you rest your chin or your forehead on the floor, just finding a reasonable space to rest so that you can observe your breath here. And see if the breathing into the back body feels a little bit more clear. And now taking your hands um, next to your chest and press up into an all fours position so that your knees are um, below your hips and this strap or band is still crossed in front of you, but you're going to hold on to the um, to the ends of the strap or band. Um, trap them underneath your hands so that you have, if you have a resistance band, your band is going to be taut. If you have a strap, then maybe give yourself just a little bit of slack. If you have something that's a little bit more fixed and less supple, then um, give yourself a little slack. And then just see if you can feel the breath here, letting the belly go. Let the belly sink down towards the floor. And just breathe in here. And when you're ready, when you feel like you've gotten an imprint of that, let's set our strap aside. And again, find a cross-legged position, maybe sitting on a cushion or a blanket. Again, stacking the torso tall. And maybe closing your eyes or finding a lazy gaze and see if your breath feels any more clear to you. Already here. Let's take an inhale. Reach the arms up to the sky. Feel the arms lift high as the chin sinks down towards the notch in the throat. And exhale, bend your elbows down towards the floor. Lift your heart and your gaze high. Inhale, arms go high, chin goes low. Exhale, elbows bend low. Lengthen up through your spine. Lift up through your chest and take your hands to your lap. <sighs> From here, dipping your right ear towards your right shoulder. Feeling your jaw relax here and the space on the left side of your neck. And then think of a banana or a boomerang sort of shape. And on your inhale, rock your chin, um, still with your head tilted to the right, up towards the ceiling and slightly left, maybe. And exhale, glide the chin down towards the chest and slightly left. Inhale. 
Inhale, gliding up and over the left. And exhale, gliding down in that banana shape and over left. One more time, inhale, gliding up and left. Exhale, gliding down and a little left. And coming up to a straight spine, just notice how those shoulders and neck feels, the right side compared to the left. <sighs> and then bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Shoulders are relaxing down. Just feeling this length in the right side of your neck. On your inhale, moving your chin up towards the ceiling and slightly to the right. And exhale, dipping it down, making a crescent moon shape and over to the right. And inhale, gliding the chin left and then up and slightly right. And exhale, moving it down and slightly right. One more time, breathing in, rising it up. And exhale, moving it down and curving right. And find a neutral spine. <sighs> From here, um, isolating your shoulders. Try to move your shoulders forward and up. And exhale back and down. And inhale forward and up. And exhale back and down. And one more shoulder roll in this direction. And release. And then right arm out to the right side while palm facing up. Let your fingers move down towards the floor. Head tilts to the left. Reaching out through your hand. Inhale. Exhale. Curl in. Head to the right. Inhale. Unfurl. Head left. Exhale. Curl in. Head right. One more, inhale, unfurl, head left. Exhale, curling in, head right. And releasing that. <sighs> Noticing your right hand compared to your left hand. And then from this space, um, we're going to maybe even place your fingers onto your shoulders help sort of feel this. We're going to move our shoulders in opposite circular directions. So I'll cue us through this. Um, if you want to switch the cross in your legs before we do this and wiggle those legs around to release them, feel free. And then stacking your torso tall, on your inhale, move your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Right shoulder up, left shoulder down. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Left shoulder up, right shoulder down. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Left shoulder down, right shoulder up. And one more circular motion in that direction or so. <laughs> And then left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Left shoulder up, right shoulder down. Left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. Left shoulder down, right shoulder up. Right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. Left shoulder up, right shoulder down. And one more or so in that direction. Ha, <sighs> checking in. reaching your left arm out to the left side wall. Palm starts facing up and then move your fingers down towards the floor. Tilt your head to the right. Inhale, reach out through your hand. Exhale, curl in, head to the left. Inhale, unfurl, head right, fingers down. Exhale, curl in, head to the left. One more time, inhale, and exhale, curling and releasing that hand down to your lap. <sighs> and 
then from this space, we're going to take our yoga block um, or something of this sort of size and place it down on the floor and then take our blanket and have it be like um, shoulder width um, distance of a, of a fold. So I'm going to make mine like, like so, <laughs> approximately. You're going to set your blanket um, closer to your body so the block is further away um, in line with the blanket. And then we're going to lie down on our back so that our shoulder blades go onto our blanket and our head goes onto our block sized object like a pillow. And from here, you're going to want your block to be having the long ends out to the side walls. Or the short ends, I should say, point to the side walls. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> your head is on the um, length, uh, <laughs> the, the, the width, the longest width of the block. Okay, so once you're there, we're going to rest our arms at our sides. I'm going to scoop forward a little bit so you can see a little bit more of me. And with your head resting on your block, your arms at your sides, on your inhale, glide your arms along the floor towards the wall behind you. And then cross your right arm over your left arm behind your head and see if your fingers can clasp the outer edges of the block with your arms crossed. From here, as you grip those um, outer edges with your fingers, allow your elbows to open wide, like you're trying to pull your elbows away from each other. And then exhale, release, sliding your arms back down towards your, the sides of your body. And inhale, glide them once again along the floor towards the wall behind you. This time, left arm crosses over the right arm, clasping the edges of your block, and try to feel this um, sense of pulling your elbows apart as you breathe. And then one more time, each side, gliding your arms down, noticing how this feels and glide your arms back up. Right arm crosses over the left arm, feeling the gripping of the block, feeling for the elbows pulling apart, and exhale, release. And once more, gliding the arms up, left arm crosses over the right arm. Fingers grip the edges of the block, pulling the elbows apart. And exhale, release. From here, drawing your knees in towards your chest. Maybe you rock and roll, massaging your spine a few times to come to seated. Or maybe you roll to one side and let your hands guide you up. And then once again, just finding a cross-legged position and check in with how you feel. <sighs> From this space, let's make our way onto all fours. If your knees are sensitive to being on all fours, then maybe you take your blanket and cushion underneath. And noticing how your hands and wrists feel. And if your hands and wrists are a little bit sensitive to having your shoulders over your wrists, then maybe you move your hands a little forward of your wrists. From here, just start to circle your shoulders around your wrists, warming them up a little bit, a couple times in one direction, and then moving the other direction. And then finding center, taking an inhale and lifting the belly and the head up. So feel this rounding of your back as your gaze is lifted. And exhale, let your belly and head sink low. Inhale, belly and head lift up. 
rounding your back. And exhale, belly sinks down, head sinks down, arching your back. One more time. Inhale, lifting your belly, lifting your head up. Exhale, belly and head move down. And then inhale, arch your back so that your crown and your seat lift, the belly sinks low. Exhale, rounding your back, crown of the head and tailbone move down towards the floor, belly high. One more time, inhale to arch, gaze lifts, seat lifts, belly low. Exhale, rounding the back, belly goes high. And find a neutral spine and move your hands in any amount um, back towards your legs, your fingers pointing back towards your legs. And for some of us, it's gonna feel a whole lot better if we move our hands closer to our legs. If it feels like too much at any point, to you have your fingers pointing directly back towards your body, then move them out a little more towards the back corners of the room. So from here, Let's take an inhale, arch the back gaze forward, belly sinks low. Exhale, round it out, chin towards the chest, belly goes high. Inhale, arching, gaze lifts. Exhale, rounding it out. Inhale to a neutral spine. Walk your hands over to the front right corner so that your torso is on a diagonal. The knees stay right where they are. The fingers are still pointing back towards your body and the hands are about shoulder distance apart still. And inhale, arching your back, gaze lifts. Exhale, rounding it out. Inhale, arching, filling your lungs. And exhale to round. And then finding a neutral space, walking through center and over to the left, aiming the torso to the front left corner. Again, fingers pointing back towards your body. Inhale, arching, gaze lifts. Exhale, rounding your back. Inhale, arching, filling up. And exhale to round. And then coming to center, turning your fingers to point forward, and maybe you lift one hand at a time, give it a little shake out, wiggle the fingers around. It. When you're ready here, let's tuck the toes and reach the knee, the hips back for downward facing dog pose. Maybe you pedal your legs in place to release out your knees. And when you feel ready, take an inhale and reach length back through your tailbone. Feel your sit bones reach back. Feel your hands press as you lift up out of your wrists. And exhale, walk your feet as many steps as you'd like towards your hands. Feet parallel, toes spread. Inhale to lift your heart, spread your collarbones. And exhale to bow forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Rooting down through your feet. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Reach to the sky. Maybe you climb up through your spine and find a little back bend at the top. And exhale to bow forward. Uttanasana if it feels reasonable. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, bend your knees slightly and step your right foot back to a lunge. And then from here, as we lean into our front foot, see if it's reasonable for you to either roll over the tops of your right toes to find the top of your right foot, or maybe you pick your foot up, point your toes towards the wall behind you and set the top of the foot down. From here, with that back of the foot, um, the top of the foot grounded on the floor, we're gonna take a nice deep inhale, Lift, start to lift our bum up, start to move towards straightening our front leg in any amount. And exhale, 
bend this left knee, slide your back foot closer to your front foot so that maybe there's a foot or so distance between the two feet. And then inhale, moving your bum up high as your torso gently bows forward. Hands can be on the floor or on objects. And exhale, moving your bum down towards the floor in any amount. And inhale, letting your bum go high in any amount. And exhale, bottom lowers. And then lean your torso forward. Set your right knee down to the floor. Maybe your hands walk forward. And then bring your left knee to meet your right knee. So now standing on your knees, coming up to a standing knee position. You could take your blanket and cushion underneath your knees if that feels better. Ah. <laughs> so from here, um, with your knees about frontal hip to hip distance apart, we're going to um, have our toes either tucked or untucked, your choice behind you. And then take your left hand to the back of your left leg, gaze over your left shoulder, and start to feel that your spine lengthening up out of your low back. Creep your left fingers down your leg as far as feels reasonable to you. And then send some more length up your spine as you gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, coming back up to a straight spine. Ah. Let's do the right side. So right hand on the back of the right upper leg, gazing over the right shoulder. Climbing up through your spine, maybe even take your left hand and give yourself a little self-adjustment. Like you're going to brush that left hand up your back to, as a reminder to lengthen out of that low back space. And creep your right fingers along your right leg in any amount. Send some more length up through your spine as you gaze over your right shoulder. And then coming back up. <sighs> From here, bringing your elbows to the floor in front of you, tucking your toes behind you, lifting your knees off the floor for dolphin pose. Inhale, moving your forehead back towards your toes. Exhale, moving your forehead towards your thumbs. Inhale, moving your forehead back towards your toes and exhale towards your thumbs. Softening your knees back to the floor and then coming up so that you're standing on your knees again. <sighs> Let's take an inhale, reach the arms to the sky, let your chin go low. Exhale, elbows bend down to the floor, heart and gaze, lift high. Inhale, arms go high, chin goes low. Exhale, elbows go low, lifting your heart and your gaze up. And then letting your arms rest at your sides. <sighs> From here, um, if it doesn't feel good even with cushioning underneath your knees to um, stand on your knees, you can move towards, move into standing on your feet instead. We're going to um, lean to our left and step our right foot out in front of us. And then allow this front foot to be um, back towards your body such that your right knee is beyond your ankle a little. And then once you're there, we're going to, um, th this, what I love about this exercise is it really sends some stabilization into the pelvis, into the hips. So we're going to lift the right heel up and then do whatever with your arms that you need to, to support yourself and nurture your way through. We're going to try to lift off this right foot, maybe for just a second and then set it back down. And then inhale, lift the heel, lift the foot up. Maybe this time you try to keep the foot off the floor for longer in any amount of time that makes sense for you. <laughs> 
So arms can bobble around, hands can touch down from time to time, anything goes. We're really just trying to stay standing on this left knee and try to keep our right foot off the floor as much as we can. You could challenge yourself a little more and try to circle this right foot around in both directions. You could work on trying to extend the right leg out in different directions. So we're working on balance here. We're working on proprioception, sort of that knowing of where your body is in space. <laughs> And then when you feel like you've gotten, um, and then the, of course the hip stabilization. Once you've gotten a good amount of that in, we're gonna place that right foot to the floor in front of us. Tuck your back toes and inhale, lift your back knee off the floor, finding a lunge with your torso forward. And then in any amount, lifting your torso off your front leg into crescent pose. So hands can be at heart center, the arms could be reaching tall, whatever makes sense for you. And then from here, on your inhale, start to move your right toes out to the right side wall. Send your left hip forward as your body twists to the right. And then maybe you ground through that outside edge of your left foot and your chest twists further to the right in any amount. And exhale, come back to center, unwind yourself. <laughs> Inhale, lengthening through your torso. Exhale, take your hands down to the floor. Pick up your front foot, reach into your back foot, downward facing dog, and maybe you march your legs in place. <sighs> Inhale to press. Exhale, walking or hopping to the top of your mat. Inhale to lift your heart. And exhale, maybe you bow forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Shaking your head no if it feels good or nodding yes or both. And then rooting down to your feet. Inhale, come all the way to standing, reaching tall. Maybe you climb up to your spine and find your back bend at the top. And exhale, easing forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, bend your knees slightly and step your left foot back to a lunge. From here, leaning your torso forward. Again, hands could be on the floor or on some objects to support you and either rolling over the tops of your back toes to set the left um, top of the foot to the floor, or you can pick your foot up, point your toes back and set it down. From here, take an inhale and move towards straightening your front leg in any amount. Send your pubic bone back as your torso bows forward. And then exhale, bend into this front knee a little more, slide your left foot a foot away from your right foot or so. Inhale, move your bum up high in any amount. And exhale, bending both knees, bottom lowers in any amount. Inhale, bum goes high, pubic bone back, torso forward. Exhale, lowering your bottom towards the floor. Soften this left knee to the floor. And then moving your hands forward to bring your right knee to meet your left knee to stand on your knees. Maybe a blanket underneath if you'd like. <sighs> so once you're here again, frontal hip to hip distance apart with your legs. And then this time, um, when you're ready, left hand to the left up the back of the left leg. Take an inhale, lengthen up through the torso, gaze over the left shoulder, walk this hand as far back as feels reasonable. And maybe this time the right arm reaches up and over the head. We're really trying to climb up out of the low back space, making space up through the spine. So if you feel really clenched, 
you feel like there isn't movement moving up your spine, then I would back it off a little bit and try to feel for that. And make sure your breath is with you. Take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, start to bow your chest to the left side of your body. This right arm is starting to reach across the body more to the left. And then we're going to swoop the arm through center in front of us and switch arms. So the left arm comes across. So right hand finds the right leg. And then we climb up through the spine and reach out through this left arm, gazing over the right shoulder. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, moving the chest to the right side of the body, gliding this left arm out in front. Switching so the right arm leads the way, moving it to the left. And then once again, gazing over that left shoulder, right arm is up and over the body. Inhale, find center, coming to a straight spine. Ah, and check in. Let's bring the elbows down in front of us. And when you're ready here, tucking your toes and lifting your knees off the floor into dolphin pose. So we're pressing the forearms down and feeling the bottom lift up. Maybe you pedal your legs here if that feels good. Maybe on your inhale, you move your forehead back towards your toes and exhale forehead towards your thumbs, moving it forward. Inhale back towards your toes and exhale towards your thumbs. One more time if it's reasonable, back towards your toes and exhale towards your thumbs. Softening your knees down to the floor. Maybe you carve out your belly to come up to standing on your knees or maybe you flat back up. Maybe a shoulder roll at the top might feel lovely. Good. <sighs> From here, leaning up, well, actually, I got ahead of myself. Um, so again, knees are about frontal hip to hip distance apart. Right hand to the back of the right leg. Lengthening up through your spine, gaze over your right shoulder, and walk this right hand along the right leg in any amount. Left arm reaching up and overhead. Again, really climbing up through the spine, reaching length out through the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale, bow the chest to the right side of your body. Move across the middle and let your right arm lead the way as your torso moves to the left. Stack your hips on top of your knees. Climb up through your spine. Reach through this right arm. Inhale. Exhale, chest bows to the left, lengthening to lower this right arm, comes across the front of the body, and then left arm circles over to the right. Right hand finds the right leg, left arm up and overhead, gazing over that right shoulder. Inhale, finding center. <sighs> Leaning towards your right knee and stepping your left foot in front of you. And then from here, um, again, slide. If you need cushioning under your knee, feel free to do that. If you want to um, stand on your right foot instead and still do these movements, you could do that. And then make sure that this left knee is a little beyond your ankle to start. When you're ready here, again, using your arms in any position you need to, let's lift the left heel off the floor. And then play with trying to lift off your left foot for a moment. And then maybe you set that down. <laughs> and then maybe you try it again. Maybe you try to keep the foot up off the floor this time. So laugh out loud, let it be playful <laughs> and exploratory and curious. <laughs> and breathe into wherever you are. It's not a yoga stick it, it's a yoga practice. <laughs> so noticing 
Maybe stir this left foot both directions. Maybe extend the leg in different ways. And then when you're ready, planting that left foot down in front of you. <sighs> From here, we're gonna tuck the right toes behind us, lift the right knee off the floor, and then lift the torso in any amount towards reaching towards the sky for crescent pose. Hands can be at heart center or wherever it feels good. Making sure that our torso is in a position that feels good on our low back. And then spin the left toes out to the left side wall. Send the right hip forward as your torso twists to the left. So we're twisting our body, we're crossing our legs. Maybe the outer right foot finds the floor and allowing our left shoulder to roll towards the wall behind us. And exhale, unravel, find center. Hands coming down to the floor, picking up the front foot, reaching it to the back foot, downward facing dog, marching that out if you'd like. <sighs> Inhale to press. Exhale, finding plank, top of the push up. Inhale, lengthen your crown forward and your heels back. And exhale, finding downward facing dog. Bringing your knees to soften down to the floor. And then rolling up so that you're standing on your knees once more. <sighs> Cushioning underneath if you'd like. Let's tuck our toes behind us this time. If this becomes too deep a knee bend, please Feel free to skip or modify as always. Knees are frontal hip to hip distance apart. Maybe you bring your arms in front of you just to clasp your hands. And then we're gonna try to keep our torso from our knees all the way through our crown in one straight line. And when you're ready in any amount, hinging back towards your heels, keeping your torso nice and long, your ribs are knit into your body. Your crown is lengthening up. And exhale, coming back up. And then once again, leaning back in any amount that makes sense for you. And then coming back up. Maybe you try untucking your toes behind you for one more if it feels reasonable. Trying to keep as much length through your torso as you lean back as you can, and then coming back up. Deep breath here. <sighs> Placing your hands behind you, toes could be tucked or untucked behind you. Lengthening up through your crown on your inhale. On your exhale, both hands start to slide down the legs, or you could have your hands at heart center, wherever it feels good, to find your back bend, Ustrasana, camel pose. Now, same thing here as when we did the side bending. We wanna climb up out of the low back space, keep the back of the neck long. Maybe we hold our head in place, gazing upward or towards the front of the room, or maybe we lengthen through the back of our neck and let our back hold our head. As long as our breath still feels like it's moving through our throat. So each inhalation, we can climb a little more up through our spine. Each exhale, we might soften in a little deeper into our back bend. So breathing into wherever you are, noticing your way through. And then slowly making your way up when you're ready and settling your bottom back towards your heels. <sighs> Checking in. Maybe you stay here, maybe you find a child's pose, bringing your forehead down towards the floor. And when 
when you're ready, let's make our way onto our bottoms in a V shape or a straddle. And you're gonna want some space in front of you. Okay. So in your straddle, on your inhale, move your right toes and right hip in towards the midline of your body. Feeling that hip come with you as your torso twists to the left. And exhale, find center. And then inhale, move this left hip into the midline of the body. The left toes spin into the middle. The right toes can turn out. The chest twists to the right a bit. And exhale, finding center. And then once again, inhale, right hip comes into the midline. Maybe this time right arm reaching up and over the head. And reach your right arm and your right leg away from each other, lengthening through. And exhale, find center. And then left arm up and over as the left hip comes into the midline of the body, lengthening the left arm and the left hip away from each other. The left arm and left leg. And exhale, finding center. <sighs> Good. Let's try one more on each side. Inhale, right arm up and over. The right hip moves into the midline, reaching length through the body. And exhale, center. And inhale, left arm up and over, reaching length. And exhale to center. And now see if you can lengthen one leg further away from you, further out, and then the other as you butt walk forward. <laughs> do, your, do your running arms, chugga chugga arms if you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beautiful. And then maybe legs coming in towards each other and bottom walk back. Legs opening out to a V shape and walking forward. One more time. As though you're dragging your sits bone in towards the midline and then the other alternating. And then butt, legs come in and butt, butt walk back. <sighs> Beautiful, <laughs> nice work you guys. Okay, let's plant the feet to the floor. And then from here, take your hands behind you, fingers facing maybe the side walls or the back corners. And bending your elbows back behind you, take an inhale, lift up through your chest, lengthen out through the crown of your head and breathe. And then exhale, make your way down to your back. Hugging your knees into your chest once you're down. <sighs> From here, maybe you pedal your legs, bicycle your legs in both directions. And then knees into the chest, opening your arms out to the side. On your inhale, let your legs hover to the left as you gaze to the right. And exhale to center. Inhale, legs hover to the right as you gaze to the left. And exhale to center. And releasing out however feels good to you. Any last movements you'd like to find, feel free. And finding your way into Shavasana, lying flat on your back or a comfortable space. So for some of us um, to allow our low backs to feel more at ease, we might place a pillow or cushion underneath our knees for some support. We might have our feet standing on the floor and our knees leaning in towards each other if that feels best. And then softening your toes and your feet. 
Relaxing your legs and your hips, your belly and your spine. Softening your chest and your shoulders, your arms and your hands. Relaxing your neck and your jaw, the space between your eyes and the crown of your head. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> Allowing this practice to soak up and settle in. Donna Farhi says, only through skill does balance come. And Ralph Gates says, firm and relaxed, steady and sweet, effortless and focused. Where do these words lead? In daily life, we're bombarded by sensation, sights, sounds, smells, physical sensations, fantasies and memories, hopes and dreams, fears and realities, duties and responsibilities, everything from the fact of our mortality to the need to buy some more toilet paper. This bombardment overstimulates us and we become reactive. Saturated by experience, we lose sight of who we are. We react in the moment out of the tangle of past experiences. So a red light is not just a red light. It is all of the times I have been late, all of the times I haven't been late. What the army taught me about being on time, what I imagine others to think of me for being late. Somewhere underneath all this, there might even lurk the fact that I don't want to go wherever it is I'm going at the moment. So I'm dragging my feet. All of this and a whole lot more inform my reaction to the stoplight. In the chaos of overstimulated reactivity, clear seeing becomes an impossibility. Skillfulness in action irrelevant. My thoughts, my words, and my deeds don't add up. I am living in illusion. Yoga opposes this condition with practices aimed at quieting the mind, the body, and the spirit. On the mat, we have a microcosm of our lives. Bombarded with sensation, sensation we can become overwhelmed and reactive, or we can begin to acquire skill in the art of life. Where do we begin? I suppose we could start with the words firm and relaxed, steady and sweet, effortless and focused, and see what happens. So to take this time and rest to absorb your effort, notice how you feel and see how you can bring forth balance by connecting to this reality. To feel for how, as we practice being less reactive, it gets easier. As we practice being more centered, we become more centered taking this journey one breath at a time with loving kindness, float in this space, connected and open at peace.
And if you're joining, to come back to this space, maybe deepening your breath and initiating movement in your fingers and your toes. And then rolling to either side in the fetal position. And letting your hands guide you up to a comfortable seat. And we'll end class with three ohms. Take this healing vibration into you and feel it reverberate outward. Nice deep breath in. And bring your hands to connect at your heart center. May we feel for this breath and the wisdom that's contained within it and dance with what comes, feeling for how we can nurture our way through and practice balance. Thank you for being part of the energy of class today. Namaste.